we're going to create an event log for Magellus so that when a user logged in changes a value, that value and the user will be logged. The first step is to create user security. Under the environment, we'll select security and we'll enable the security. Logout behavior, we'll go and set in an activity timeout of one minute. And for the secured object, which is going to be the numeric entry, we will put a lock icon. And when they touch that and lo aren't logged in, they can go to the system login panel. The next step to creating security is to create a new security group. In this case, we'll call it operators. and then we'll create a new user. In our case we'll use cap user. Password will be cap user. We also have a biometric switch so that you can use your fingerprint for security. This plugs into the USB port on the Magellus and works with most of our Magellus. So the next step is to create a numeric entry on a panel. We'll create a variable, value, recorded. We'll go to the data details and we're going to log user operations on this variable. So anytime it's changed, the user who made that change will be logged. Okay, And we're going to enable input mode so that we can change the value. The other thing we're going to do is enable security on this push button. So you have to be logged in to make the change. So we'll see, say OK. So our numeric entry is created. The next step is going to be to create the event summary. There is no alarm and event group defined at this time, so we'll go down to the alarms and we'll create a new alarm, a new event group, system event. We can save this to a file, we can email it, we can do all sorts of things, but in this instance we're just going to create the group. So we'll go back to our panel. We'll double click in the panel. Notice our alarm group is now the system event group. We'll go to our columns. We'll remove the date for this example. And we'll say OK. The only other thing I want to do is change the column sizes so that our message can be fully read. I am going to change the font to a smaller font so we can see the message. At this point, we're done. So we'll start device simulation. We started the application at 554. When I select the lock, I type user, enter, user, enter, unlock, and we'll go back. And now I've logged in. Now I change the value to a 78. If I change the value, to a 52, and that is how to set up a, an event log.